Let's make one more exercise in SOLIDWORKS. All dimensions are in millimeter ISO standard thread applied. Okay, this is exercise number 249. Material is still AISI 1020. Okay, we have here top view and right view. See, so just see from top view, the length 184, width 82. Okay, now see this height, total height 62. And this flange height 42. And what is the depth of this? 42. So let's make this one first. Then we, we are going to add this one. You will see radius R18. And uh, you will see in side view the height is uh, like uh, 39 millimeter. And uh, it has radius uh, thread M18, two number of threads, center distance 46. And you will see here now the whole depth 27, thread depth 24. You will see here dotted line. Now I'm going to choose right plane sketch, activate line tool and start from this origin point. right click choose select and exit smart dimension not total length 184 height shows 62 millimeter now this width 42 and this height 17 now go to feature and activate extruded boss base feature because i want to add material this is a sketch based feature start condition we will keep same end condition or direction one I am going to keep mid plane in mid plane material going to flow in both side even you will see this arrow if you drag see the material going to flow equally both side but total length 96 uh, we need total length 82 millimeter say ok now select this face sketch activate line tool Now, if I am going ba back to the point and see the line is converted into arc, again go back and see this is what we need and close. Press escape key to out. Now, press and hold shift key, select these three points, make relation horizontal. Now, it means this all are in tangent. Now, this is not tangent. So, select this point tangent. A smart dimension radius r18 18, 18 millimeter and uh, distance okay now see the center distance 42 plus 18 it's going to be 60 so center to outside 42 plus 18 fine I want to add material here we already have a sketch this is a sketch based feature extruded boss base start condition same end condition mid plane and we have to choose one direction this is perfect direction now this one make 39 millimeter whole wizard now here choose see the fourth one is straight tap ISO standard according to drawing we don't need throughout hole so keep bottoming tapped hole M18 okay directly choose M18 now blind now here you have to choose depth hole 27 up to shoulder not up to tip now thread thread length is 24 millimeter fine now here I am going to select this mid one I want to see some cosmetic thread with thread call out position now you have to select the face so where we are going to apply hole so I am going to select this face now see this is in position keep cursor and you will see this plus sign just click and placed press escape key just this is fully defined say ok options go to properties detailing shaded cosmetic thread activate this one ok now you will see the thread 
choose right plane because this is exactly at center i want to mirror now drop down and here right plane selected feature to mirror this is extruded boss base plus thread say okay and see this is mirror now let's add this feature r35 then internal r16 then again internal r10 now this one we need to extrude 40 uh, 52 at centrally you will see this uh, center line and this one is outside so let's check right plane sketch now activate circle now one big circle and make two small circle activate line and connect from here to here escape key to out now choose trim entity power trim and press and hold left mouse and drag which line you don't want that's fine smart dimension 27 the outer one radius 16 inner one and the inside 10 but the position now look 80 plus 60 see 140 fine from here to here extruded boss base now here we have to first apply select choose selected contour and I'm going to select let's say this one start condition keep same end condition keep blind I want to move material both side equally so I'm going to let's say through all direction one through all through all means end of this body okay if you extend this body this is also going to extend again the same sketch I'm going to select extruded boss base this time keep in selected contour keep cursor and see this is going to choose upper one now in this case mid plane now this distance given 52 okay but here we need to trim what things we need to trim now see there is a complete cutout through all then here one more cutout inside 27 and this is depth 36 okay so I am going to choose okay let's choose this face a sketch and let me select again one more circle place at center one more up to this smart dimension okay before going to apply this diameter better to convert this in radius okay okay better to make first this one escape key make this one for construction trim entity and I, I, I don't need this half circle just remove this okay now fine this one 10 27 okay the outer one let me exit now here comes here this one 35 okay now again go to sketch edit sketch
refresh now okay that's perfect now first i am going to trim this inside one extruded cut and keep cursor and select this portion see here keep end condition through all say okay see now the second one we need to cut only inside 36 okay here we have challenge actually we supposed to choose uh, mid plane but we selected this outer side so we have to subtract this one 82 minus 52 this is going to be balance 30 means 15 from here 15 from here okay then here also 32 so 15 plus this one how much this one 52 minus 36 divided by 2 8 plus 15 23 so offset we will keep 23 36 we forget to edit sketch okay that's fine we 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 are going good extruded cut here i am going to select this one this one this one this one okay but here choose offset we calculated 23 keep blind reverse see 23 millimeter this is going inside and blind total 36 say okay just remember this one okay just rotate and see this is what exactly we need now there is a fillet r6 this corner also r6 and there is a inside there is a cutout 66 width and uh, okay this uh, depth 36 and uh, you will see here 50 millimeter 6 millimeter away from both side so radius we will add sketch corner rectangle smart dimension now this is going to be sixty six but at center. So how you place at center draw one line. Now select these two outer line plus this one. Make symmetric relation. Okay. Smart dimension. Now this one internal 36 okay extruded cut first offset how much 6 millimeter away from this plane inside so reverse total length 50 you will all see here see the preview say okay and see what result we achieve fillet first fillet 4 millimeter and I am going to select these two edges here choose multi radius okay see in multi radius we can change let's say 6 double click 6 enter now one more here choose 6 6 now internal 4 and rest all 6 see that's why choose multi radius you can edit at at a time now there is a hole see here in dotted line 20 18 43 only from inside you will see the inside radius 4 this is the last so re return sketch smart dimension 20 millimeter 
now distance from outer edge 18 and the last one from bottom face 43 keep extruded cut and here I want to remove material so at the end I am going to choose here only up to next next means this is going to remove material only up to the next face see material whatever you can edit material and uh, AISI 1020 apply close see real view uh, color let's say solid color you can edit whatever uh, color you want from here okay that's it this is how we can do a simple exercise in solidworks i hope you like it don't forget to share and like our video and please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in solidworks thanks for watching